The Siphon Pot is one of the most mysterious and challenging brewers on the market. The process can be a little intimidating, but once mastered, this unique brewer rewards you with a delicious, delicate tea-like cup that pulls out nuances other brew methods might miss. Here's what you'll need. A siphon pot with a filter, a heat source, a stirring stick, a thermometer, 23 grams of coffee, a kettle, and a grinder. So let's get started. Start by soaking the cloth filter in water. Then fill the globed shaped lower chamber with 350 grams of water. Place it over your heat source, but don't start heating it yet. Next, place the pre-soaked filter into the top chamber of the siphon, allowing the chain to fall down through the stem. Then carefully pull the chain and latch the hook to the edge of the stem. Now, gently nest the top chamber loosely into the bottom chamber, making sure not to seal it. Once set up, go ahead and turn on the heat source. While the water heats up, grind 23 grams of coffee to a size similar to sea salt. After the water begins to boil, nestle the top chamber into the bottom chamber, making sure there is a good seal created with the rubber gasket. This is essential for the siphon to work. As the water reaches a boil, steam generates pressure and pushes the water up the stem, through the filter, and into the upper chamber. You want the temperature of the water to be around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the water hits 200 degrees, start your timer and add the ground coffee. Immediately use your paddle to saturate the coffee using a crosshatch pattern, north to south, and then east to west. At 30 seconds, repeat this stir pattern. You want to sink any grounds floating on the surface. Then, at one minute, remove the siphon from the heat source. This is what creates the siphon. As the temperature in the bottom chamber cools, it creates a vacuum that pulls the brewed coffee down through the filter and into the bottom globe. As the coffee begins siphoning through the filter, gently stir in a circular pattern six times. This soft whirlpool current creates a pyramid of grounds over the center of the filter, producing a cleaner, less gritty cup. Finally, while holding the handle, remove the upper chamber by gently rocking it in a circular pattern to loosen the seal. And that's it, you're all set. Now freshly brewed siphon coffee is very hot. To help bring it down to a drinking temperature quickly, we recommend serving siphon in small amounts. Happy brewing.